Starlink's brand new mini dish is now available for everyone in the United States. After a limited invitation only release just a month ago, Starlink is now publicly releasing the mini and you can get it on a lot more service plans, including its own standalone service plan. There's a lot to unpack here with the full release of the mini in the United States. I'm gonna be going over the details of the new mini roam service plan and whether or not that'll be a good option for you. So let's jump right into it. So let me give you a little bit of context first. About a month ago, in the middle of June, Starlink started sending out emails to a select number of existing residential subscribers. This invitation gave them a chance to try out the new Starlink Mini, and it was just an add-on to their existing residential service plan. So they could pay the $599 for the equipment and then $30 per month for an add-on to their existing residential subscription. And it was capped at about 50 gigabytes of data. You could purchase additional data if you needed it at $1 per gigabyte. That invitation didn't go out to everybody. I never got one, so I never got a chance to buy the Mini, but now everything has changed. The Mini is now available to everyone in the United States, and you can get it on multiple different service plans. You can choose from one of four different service plan options for the Mini. And one of them is for the Mini alone. You can't get it with any other dish. So for the full release, the Mini is still the same price as the invite only release. It is $599, no matter which service plan you pair it with. And I'll get into the pricing and how it's kind of absurd and doesn't make a lot of sense to me. I'll get into all that a little bit later in the video. First, I wanna talk about the service plan options though. You'll be able to pair the mini with one of four different service plans. So to start, there's the regular roam plans, mobile regional and mobile global. Mobile regional is $150 per month. That's the normal you know, mobile plan. Mobile Global is a little bit more expensive at about $400 per month. That gives you global access. And then there's also the Mobile Priority Data Plan. It starts at $250 per month for 50 gigabytes of mobile priority data. And then after that allotment, you get unlimited mobile data. But I think the most important development of this full mini release in the United States is the introduction of the Mini Roam service plan. This is a brand new service plan just for the mini. It costs $50 per month. And with that, you get 50 gigabytes of mobile data. You can also purchase additional data if you need it at $1 per gigabyte. But I think 50 gigabytes for a portable travel plan is the perfect amount. You're not gonna be able to use this mini roam service plan if you use your mini full-time. Like if you're a full-time digital nomad or you're gonna be using this for like home internet service or you camp a lot. But if you're the type of camper or traveler that just goes out every few months or has a few big trips a year, 50 gigabytes per month is gonna be plenty of data. Starlink says that with 50 gigabytes, you can stream about 20 hours of TV shows or movies through your favorite service. And that is gonna be plenty for you know a couple trips a month, that kind of thing. But I think the best part about this mini roam service plan, besides the low price, is the features that are included. So you can pause this service, just like with the regular roam plan, and you'll also be able to use it in motion, above 10 miles per hour. Now that's a major distinction between the mobile regional, AKA Roam service plan that costs $150 per month. With the $150 a month Roam plan, you have to pay extra to be able to access in motion data. The mini Roam plan will allow you to access in motion data by default, as long as you are within your 50 gigabyte allotment or you opt in for extra data for $1 per gigabyte. So like I had mentioned, if you're kind of a part-time traveler, you're just doing it recreationally, you will be able to mount this on your RV or van or whatever and use it in motion or at your campsite, whatever your use case is, you'll be able to do that for just $50 per month. And to top it off, you'll be able to pause your billing so that you're not being charged for the months where you're not actually traveling. So that's the service plan options for the Starlink Mini. As far as the hardware goes, nothing has really changed there from the initial rollout about a month ago. So you still have that ultra portable laptop sized dish that weighs under three pounds, has an integrated Wi-Fi router, and can be powered directly from DC. And now that I can actually order one for myself because I never got the original invite, I'll be doing videos on how to convert it to be able to run off of DC, how you can use a portable power bank, how you can use your car outlet, or even a tiny little battery bank to power the Starlink Mini. I'll be going over power consumption numbers, performance numbers, comparing it to the standard dish, everything like that. And if you have any other suggestions about what kind of Starlink Mini videos you'd like to see, let me know in the comments below. But now let's talk about the pricing, the hardware pricing of the Starlink Mini, because I know a lot of you, when I asked on the poll, 
about what was stopping you from buying the Starlink Mini if you got the invitation. Most of you said that the price was just way too high. And I totally agree with you. $599 does not make a lot of sense to me. That is more expensive than the $499 MSRP of the standard dish. And the Mini is essentially just a stripped down version of that dish. It has a weaker router. It's Wi-Fi 5 on the Mini versus Wi-Fi 6 on the standard. It has a less powerful antenna. It's capable of lower speeds. So why does it cost more than the standard dish? Well, I think the answer is because Starlink really hasn't designed the Mini to be this ultimate travel accessory. What they've really done with the Mini is created a super budget, super affordable dish that they can launch in developing markets where affordability is a key factor. And we already see evidence of that because the Mini has been released in several Latin American countries. For example, in Colombia, you can buy the Starlink Mini for just $200 USD and put it on a service plan for residential use that only costs $35 a month. It's their super affordable dish that they're gonna be using to expand in developing markets and grow their subscriber base to be able to offer their, you know, their ultimate mission, which is expanding the access to affordable, high-speed, low-latency internet that is actually reliable. And the other evidence of that is in the shop itself. So if you look at the accessories for Starlink in the shop for the Mini, you will not see any RV or van or portable use case accessories in there. You won't find any different charging adapters or vehicle mounts or anything like that. All that you find is roof mounts. And that may come as a surprise to a lot of people. I know it did me when I looked at it because, hey, I thought the Mini was a portable dish. Why aren't they offering portable accessories? Well, like I said, the Mini is not really their portable dish. It's just their super affordable entry-level dish that they can use to launch into markets where the prices of the regular Starlink, like the standard, are just simply inaccessible for most people. So their ultimate goal is to use the Mini to break down that barrier of entry into high-speed, low-latency satellite internet. And Starlink says in their support FAQs that the reason why they're charging more for the United States is because it's a high usage area, it places additional demand on the Starlink network in already congested areas, and they just wanna be able to give people a chance to be an early adopter, but you're gonna pay the price for that. You're gonna pay more than it's actually really worth. And even though a lot of you said that the price was too high, tons of people are ordering this unit. I think especially now with the full release, we'll see thousands and thousands of orders. Based on social media, what I'm seeing, a lot of people are really excited about the Mini and plenty of people in the United States are willing to shell out the cash be able to have that super compact dish. All right, so that's all I had for this video. The Starlink Mini is now here. It's available for everyone in the United States. Unfortunately, I don't have any information on the release timeline for other markets in the world. I know a lot of you are gonna ask, but Starlink simply doesn't tell us. They don't tell me, they don't have a PR person or a marketing person. They just simply roll it out whenever they want and we have to check the website to be able to see when that happens. So make sure you are subscribed to the channel and make sure you subscribe to our blog, StarlingCardware.com if you want to stay up to date on the latest developments as they happen. I try to push out the blog articles and the videos as soon as I can. So I think this channel right here, Starling Cardware, is the best place to get information like that. And I'd like to hear what you think about the mini release in the United States in the comments below. So I will chat with you in the comments and I'll see you in the next video.